Hey guys, this is Ernst McDowell, and today's tutorial, well, this is a late night tutorial, as you can see right there, it's 11.20pm at night, so this is just a quick tutorial for you guys. For those who know what, the, what I'm about to say, then it will be really easy to follow this tutorial, but for those who don't know what I'm about to say, I'll explain it. Noise. If I zoom up here, and you can see my weird face, I don't know why I'm weird. And but you can see in this background there's all these colors. Why is that? Because your video is either not lit or you're using your computer and the camera is not as HD quality. Now there's many different ways to do this, which you can use the denoiser effect and that just takes out a lot. Or you can use the freeway, which is just using built in effects and presets inside After Effects and create this. There's no noise and when my hand pops up there's a little bit of color that's fine and I use this brightness as you can see here it's darker but I brightened it up to make it a little bit better so you go from here so you go from here to here in just a quick few seconds let me try to match it yeah so you go from there to hear and this looks like a perfectly good video filmed at night time. So what are you going to do? I'm going to undo this. We're going to go into our footage here, drag and drop into new composition. And we're good right now. So this is what I have. I'm going to do a real quick VFX break time. So on this movie, in fact, I had curves, hue and saturation, and tints. So you'll want to make sure you have those. Okay. So let's go into this. Type in curves. And as you see here, in my curves, I only used RGB. Why? Because RGB is the perfect, and you do not want to um, use any other colors. So take this RGB and take the point, the center point right here, by adding that, and drag and drop that. You want to turn it down as much as you want, as much as you can, so that it takes up the noise. So now you can start to see the noise being taken out. And don't worry, we can brighten this up, but this takes out the noise just a little bit maybe break in that just a little bit okay then we're gonna go in to effects and presets again and type in hue slash saturation and we're just going to up maybe tone down the saturation a little bit master lightness turn that down a bit keep it there and if you want to copy how I had it perfectly I'm just gonna press go to edit copy, edit, paste, I think the hue and saturation is good on this one, and that's a perfect hue and saturation, and then you're going to go into effects and presets again and type in tint. Now when you first drag and drop tint, it will make a black and white photo. Now you can make that a cool transition, but you don't want that. You want it just at 2%. And when you see my finger here then the noise is a little bit bad so here's how to fix that first of all you want to go to position where you're usually to get a mass press um so move this down and so scroll down until your hands out and then press command shift d this whoops hang on a sec press yeah i already had done it but and then title this VG. Duplicate that by pressing Command D. Again, I don't know why this is. There. And title this. This will be titled Mask. Just do that, or you can do what I did and type in Noise Mask. This will affect the hand, so we can start color correcting the hand. So we're just going to create a quick mask roughly around the hand here. And we're going to hit M on the keyboard, and we're going to mask path first. The reason why I have it in the center is so I can mask path backwards, and then we'll mask path forwards. It may not make sense of why I did that, but in this case, it's easier to start at a center point and then go both ways for color correction. Now, color correction may seem like you don't ever need to spend time on, but color correction is 
honestly one of the key things in making any type of short film or video. Even though if you have special effects, you always want to make sure your videos are color corrected very good, or else you're just going to have plain unedited footage, and yeah. Okay, so I turned off the toggle mask, and because, for example, I'm going to show you an example. First of all, you want to go in here and take off all of these. Go into BG and take off all of these. I'm kidding. You want to keep that on there. And you can start to see this mask is really, really rough. So you're going to hit F on the keyboard and feather that way out. Then we are going to go into effects and presets and type in another curve. So now this time we're going to use all colors. So you're going to bring that down a bit so that it tones down the black. But you can start to see there's a little bit of blue in here. So we want to take that blue out. We're basically denoising it without having to use the noise effect. And there's a little bit of red in there. But you can sort of see there's green too. So take out the green. Now, this is what we're going to do. So it can affect the whole setting. We're going to go into layer, new, and adjustment layer. And then you're going to type in brightness and contrast, which will be in the color correction. At first, it won't affect it, but you turn up the brightness. Voila, you have your brightness. Your contrast. You can change that just a little bit, but up the brightness just a little bit more. D double that, and what you're going to do is go to Mask, click on that, go to Edit, Copy, just and go to Edit and Paste. So now we have this mask, same features as it is before, and we're going to go here roughly and press Option Left Bracket. This will affect the hand so that we can start color correcting our hand and making it brighter. Now we want to feather this too, so about 40 pixels. And you want to brighten that up just a little bit, and you want to add the curves in here. Make sure the curves is above the brightness and contrast. Actually, make sure it's below it. And we can adjust the brightness a little bit more. But we don't honestly have to do that. Of course, we can just have this where it's brightened up. So you can see that the noise in the background, there is still some noise. But as you see here, it's a lot better from square one so that is how you take out most of the noise in a video at night time without using the noiser thank you please rate comment and subscribe and you when you use your comments i don't mind anything but if you want if you want to comment on something like hey can you do this type of effect please do that and just type in plus the hunt 98 which is my channel or i'm going to end up changing my channel name but yeah do that thank you guys bye